Hi everyone, um, well, hi and thank you for uh, coming to see this uh, interesting video. I'm a research faculty here at the National High Magnetic Field Laboratory. What I'm going to show you today is an interesting experiment that you can actually do at home. Uh, what we're going to do is to take borax, uh, which is a product that you can buy at any supermarket, which is a naturally occurring mineral, um, and we're going to go ahead and dissolve it into warm boiling water um, and then attempt to grow single crystals of it. The borax that you buy at the store is actually ground up um, little tiny uh, pieces of crystalline material um, that we call polycrystalline material. And so what we're doing here is we're starting to pour uh, the borax, which is a white powder, uh, out of the box uh, into this hot water. And as we do this, uh, you can see that it dissolves very easily uh, into the solution. And our goal in doing this uh, is to dissolve the max amount of, maximum amount of uh, borax that we can uh, into this liquid, which is actually much more than what you can dissolve into the cold water. So as you can see, uh, this goes on for quite some time. Um, and once the borax is dissolved into the water, it becomes transparent again. Although it begins to look a little bit more and more oily. In addition to this, what we've done is we've suspended a string inside of there. And the idea is that once we finish dissolving uh, borax into the water and allow the water to start cooling down, then the crystals or the, the molecules of the borax will start to fall out of the solution and will nucleate or crystallize on the string. So we've set up a timer uh, to watch this as it goes. It takes quite a little while uh, for anything to happen because it takes a little while for the water to actually start uh, going down. But now, as you can see, uh, after a fair amount of time has passed, um, a crystal has actually started to form on the surface of the water. I think it's probably held there by the surface tension. Also, uh, in this time lapse, you can now see that along the bottom, uh, where the molecules have probably fallen down uh, due to gravity, and along the string, string uh, the borax crystals are nucleating and forming uh, very, very nicely. Now, as a crystal grower, what we would ideally like to see is that the crystals form as a single, uh, perfectly aligned crystal, large aligned crystal. That's not how things normally work, as you can see here where there are many, many, many uh, nucleation points uh, where the crystals begin to form. And these aggregate together into what is sort of a large scale uh, polycrystalline sample. Now in my lab, we use this exact same technique to grow uh, many other uh, types of materials. But in that case, instead of using water as a solution, we actually use um, other materials that have much higher melting temperatures, like some metals, uh, for example, indium, aluminum, tin, all of these types of things make nice solutions or fluxes uh, in which we can grow uh, nice crystalline materials. So thanks for watching. Um, I think this is a experiment that's fairly straightforward to perform at home. Um, if you're a younger kid, be sure to have an adult present because the hot water can be a hazard, but otherwise uh, go out, have some fun uh, and see what sorts of crystals you can grow. Thanks again. Bye-bye.